Hi, I'm Alex, one of the product managers here on the Enterprise Cloud team at Atlassian, and today I'm here to show you product updates, the one-stop shop for admins to find, learn, and subscribe to Atlassian Cloud release nodes. Product updates will be available to all org admins, and we hope that product updates will help you find and learn more about all the changes Atlassian is building for its cloud products. So before product updates, Admins used to need to go to quite a few different places to see cloud release nodes. One of the many is the cloud documentation blog. There is also the weekly emails and the public roadmap as well. But with product updates, we hope to be streamlining the process a little bit. So with product updates, we're bringing the changes to you directly to admin.lassian.com in the products tab. So without further ado, let's jump directly into the demo to see what product updates is. So right here, you'll see we're in admin.lassium.com right now. When you click on products, you'll see product updates on the left nav. If you don't see this yet, this will be available to you soon. So when you click on this, we've come to the homepage of product updates, where you'll see a lot, lots of release notes and a search box, as well as four filters. The first filter is the product filter. When you click on this, you will see all the products that are owned by your organization. The second is the status, and you can filter by status. So rolling out means that features are currently being rolled out to all instances. Generally available means that features are already available in all the instances, and coming soon means that features will soon start to be rolled out to all instances. There are four types of announcements. So there's announcement, improvement, fix, and removed. And the last filter, the post date filter, allows you to filter between two dates of when release notes were last posted. And right here, you'll see a list of release notes, each of which corresponds with a new feature that's rolling out. So for example, this one is a feature that affects Jira service management, Jira work management, and Jira software. The dates here are when the last the release note was, was last updated. Another way you can use these filters in the search box is to search for something. So I'm searching for a release note. Let's say this one. And you can see th that this is the exact release note I'm looking for. Advanced roadmaps. Create a label from your timeline. When I click into this, I can read more about it. You'll, first of all, you'll see the status. This is now generally available. You also see the, the type of the announcement. In this case, this was an improvement. And then you'll see a short description as well as pictures. Some release notes may contain even more information. And on the right side, you'll see the release timeframe. So this feature was first released in November 2022, as well as the products that this, this release note and this feature affected. So impacted. So this is impacted Jira service management, Jira software, and Jira work management. One other feature that you can do with this release note is to click on watch this release note. When you do, you'll see that now I'm subscribed to this release note. And what happens with that is anytime there's an update with the status of the feature or the, re the release timeframe, we'll send an email directly to your inbox to let you know about the update. Let's go back to product updates. So now I want to look for a different feature. Advanced roadmaps, sample plan. So this is the feature I'm looking for. And you'll notice that there is a view release schedule button here. What this button does is if, you, if you're an org with the bundled release track turned on, you're able to see when this feature will be coming to your bundled track site. So let's click on this. You'll see that. My site is indeed on the bundle track. This is a site. And then you'll see that this feature was first released between February 14th and February 16th. Let's reset the filters. And that's product updates. You'll see that there's quite a lot of release notes here. And they're continually being updated by Atlassian. So feel free to check back often to see what all the updates we're making to all the cloud products. Thank you again for your time. My team really enjoyed building out this feature, and we hope that 
you give product updates to try soon. We hope that this feature will help you find and learn more about all the changes that Lassian is making to our cloud products. And finally, any feedback or any comments, concerns, or just suggestions for future iterations, please feel free to, to add a comment to our community post. Thank you.